Hi, I'm John Darren with the Kokyo Valley Sword Group, and today we're going to talk about Kokyo Ho. Uh, Kokyo Ho, uh, Kokyo just means breathing, and Ho in this case is like uh, a method or a principle, right? And it is a <clears throat> it is one of the few sort of uh, pseudo esoteric practices that we have in Yo Ho, um, and just as the name suggests, they're breathing exercises. The ones that we're going to show today are uh, a selection of two, the ones that I think are the most important. And uh, we'll do them first, and then maybe talk a little bit about them and uh, what you can hope to get from them. So these are going to be done with your uh, two swords. Start off with your feet shoulder width apart, your tail is tucked, right? Now, just like in the beginning of the kata, you want to tense your diaphragm, tense your thighs, relax your shoulders and legs, set your mind on your task, and start in gate on no kamai. Right? First one we're going to do is a um, is modeled after kisaki gaishi. So we start, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out as you thrust, bringing your tips forward, turn them over and breathe in, let them rotate, breathe out, as you bend your knees, in, you come up straight, out, tips forward, turn in, they turn in air, out as you go down be sure and sink as you make your uh, cuts right the second one is based on the, the circle sort of n what are we going to do so we're going to breathe in, one big long breath as we come up into Chudan, and then bring the swords over our head, then exhale as we bring them down again, bending your knees, in, and out. Good. So, you can do these uh, sort of any number of times, obviously. Uh, I think that three to five is a good number in most cases, unless you're uh, specifically trying to study something deep here. Now, <clears throat> with Kokyoho, uh, just like with Kata, you have kind of levels of depth. In the beginning, uh, we can think of these as just a mental cool down to bring us into the right frame of mind to get the most out of our training. Um, and to that, we'll often do Kokyoho uh, at the beginning and sometimes also at the end of training sessions. Um, <clears throat> at kind of the, the next level of depth, we can begin to treat Kokyoho in the same kind of fashion that um, uh, Westerners treat uh, Qigong exercises as a kind of um, moving uh, relaxation or meditative, pseudo-meditative activity where we're just sort of centering ourselves, going a little bit deeper than just... Uh, you know, dropping the stress of the day and really try to pull our mind real sharp and crisp into what we're what we're doing. Um, and most people will stay kind of at this level for uh, a long time, right? Because uh, nobody's getting hurt, right? Nobody's dying. There's not uh, cool technical work. There's nothing really interesting to to hold our 
our attention, our monkey mind, as it were. Um, but if you're willing to spend some time in this work and really uh, uh, use it as a magnifying glass and a mirror into yourself, you can really reap some, some good benefit from it. Um, my suggestion is to treat it with the same focus that you do uh, your kata when you're practicing them. In other words, you're while just kind of yeah da, da, going through it, just yeah, mm, I'm so relaxed, very nice and comfortable. It's fine. Uh, you can give a sincerity to it, right? In which you just really buckle in and you bring your mind into the place that you're in, into the work that you're doing, and you just... Unfortunately, uh, <clears throat> this is a topic that's uh, elusive to put words to uh, even when you're in person with a, somebody. This is something that can only be uh, really studied on your own. It's a very introspective practice. But um, give it a go. Uh, really work to keep your mind in the moment that you're in. Don't think about the next motion. Don't think about how many cycles you're going to do. Don't think about what's happening around you. Just bring your focus to the pinpoint of now and um, explore from there. Right? So, as always, uh, if you want to understand this work, you have to pick up a sword and go train.